Black Girl Stuff. From WE TV's latest reality series, Grown and Gospel. We have cast members Tasha Paige Lockhart and Elijah Connor in the BGS house. You both have certainly had church folks talking, child. So <laughs> let's get into it. This show is long overdue. We haven't seen anything like it. So tell us what we can expect. Well, you can expect a group of friends that grew up in Detroit, Michigan together. You know, all of us have parents that are uh, pastors or preachers, so we're preacher's kids, and uh, most of us have come from uh, a long lineage of gospel music. You know, PK kids. They so say we the worst ones, I would baby. Like to say, <laughs> is there some truth to that? And if so, why? Uh, I wouldn't say we're the, wild, we're the wildest ones, but we're the ones that were in the spotlight. You know, sometimes people would take shots at us because they couldn't get to our parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when my mom's, somebody, thought they was coming to my mom. She had preached at some women conference. They was like, yeah, I saw your son at the club, Ooh. or I saw him at the casino. My mother said, hmm. So that means you was there. Period. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, like, all that, they, they swear they be saying something. But I think, going back to what Tasha says, you know, um, we grown up just like everybody else, you yeah. know what I mean? However, our parents are in the limelight, so it kind of puts the magnifying glass on, on us. When I was 17 years old, I got pregnant my 12th grade year of high school, and I had to stand in front of the church and apologize for mm. getting pregnant. Oh yeah. And um, of course, they were trying to teach me accountability because I was in leadership at the church, but not understanding now that when I got older, that was a humiliating experience. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand it because I'm looking out in the audience and I'm like, okay, I done smoked weed with you. I done been at the club. Why right. am I apologizing to people that's doing the same thing I'm doing? It yeah. works behind you know closed doors. So, mm -hmm. so, but there's a difference between um, living Judges. up to being judgmental, but there also is a standard. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So there should be a standard, mm -hmm. but you don't put people on pedestals yeah. because there's a responsibility that comes along with leadership. Mm -hmm. So let's set the church to the side. Let's just say your father is a CEO of a big oil company, right? You still can't go off and do every, anything you want to do because you represent your father. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. But church, they just... They want to make us perfect. It's like you got to you got to do this, you got to do that. You mm -hmm. can't. So it's just a lot of pressure. We live in a world now where people are more a lot of people are more spiritual yeah. mm -hmm. than religious. Yeah. Like so me. what 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 does grown a gospel mean to you guys because like you know, spiritual, we got the sage, we yeah. got the palo santos, we got the crystals, but that doesn't mean we don't pray. That's just a spiritual. We believe in a higher being, mm -hmm. but we also believe in God. But what does grown a gospel mean? So for so long, I worshipped the, the, the God of Lisa and Thomas. Those are my parents. Because mm. I didn't know God for myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to church because I was told to go to church. So it was out of religion. Right. But then I came to a point where I was molested and I was raped, gang raped by five men. Mm. And I couldn't call on my mother. I couldn't mm. call on Lisa or Thomas. I had to call on Jesus. Yeah. And so then that's when I began to know God for myself. Mm. And that's what, to me, that's what grown in gospel is. I'm grown, but I still love God. Yes. I may fall, I may make mistakes, but that doesn't come in between my relationship with him. So it's developing your own relationship with God, mm. and it may not look like your grandmother's church. Mm. I'm glad you touched on that, Tasha because um, basically, yeah, it means we grown. You know, we're not walking in our parents' shoes or trying to uh, make them happy of what they want us to do, as well as um, going back to relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't been to church in about, what, way before the pandemic. I could, I, I want to the pandemic. <laughs> but I haven't been to church in a while. I'm because sorry, I just I got back in church. Don't do that. <laughs> but you I'm know what? I, I, I'm <laughs> I developed relationship, you know what I mean? Yeah. To the point of, I think a lot of times people get deep, not knowing, like, listen, relationship is, if you get in the car and before you pull off, you praying, like, Lord, keep me safe. That's relationship, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Or before you, when you wake up in the morning, you know, you getting dressed, thank you for another day, God. You know what I mean? Right. That's relationship to the point where I grew up thinking, like, feeling bad if I didn't go to church. I was at church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then Holy Convocation. Back Sunday, it's like, yo, but I didn't really know anything. So I think now it's just about relationship and, and not judging where people are. We all trying to get it right. right. You know what I mean? But we taking it day by day. My mother was a preacher kid and she had me at 16. Mm. So the opposite experience was that her father was like gun hold on, you know, like taking care of me and doing the right thing. So yeah. I'm sorry you had that experience. Do you ever deal with internal conflict because of your lifestyles, because of where you, you know, how you grew up and where you come from as far as your parents? No, I don't deal with um, internal conflict because, you know, I've always been my own 
think um, my I thought for myself my mm -hmm. whole life. My mom used to always say, we know Tasha gonna do her own thing. <laughs> and you know, that got me in trouble a little bit, but it also helped me to discover. Right. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. like Elijah said, we're all trying to master the human experience. I just yeah. choose to do it with Did God. I say that? Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess like so that we're all trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We nobody just has the uh the the it factor on life. Nobody has the all the answers on. So I can't take the template from somebody else's life, whether they're successful or not, and put it over mine and expect it to fit. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna fit. So I have to discover, like God, what does this look like for me? I love you know that. I mean? Yes, yeah. you better know yourself. What about you, Elijah? I definitely don't. I'm an R and B singer just mm -hmm. because I'm, you know, and till till this day I, I feel like it's you know, people try to say, Hey, how does it feel your mom is doing this and you sing your R and B? I sing about love mm. sometimes. <laughs> you know, I feel like God is love. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? I feel like, yo, who's gonna make the soundtrack for our parents wasn't consummating or how we got here was they listened to Amazing Grace? Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh so God. at some point, <laughs> like, yo, was oh, it that bad? God. You know what I mean? I so I'm all about, I don't have any, I'm not so, fighting so, anything. Okay, so about I the get show. that. And I kind of agree because, like, you know, I'd rather conceive and not listen to Amazing Grace. It might throw me off. But, <laughs> but <laughs> hell yeah. No, right. But, but what do y'all say about the people who say y'all may have strayed away from the from church, from the church. Cause yeah. you know, in church they always say, don't listen to worldly music. I grew up in the church. I was praise dancer. I was also the usher. Palm Sunday, I was laying the palms out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was standing mm -hmm. at the post. I was mad cause I had to stand at the post the whole time. Okay. <laughs> but like, I know you said, ask yeah. for forgiveness, not permission. Yeah, and, and but, that's- But what my... do y'all say to the people who say that y'all may have strayed away from the church? What, what I say to that is, it's all about commitment, mm -hmm. right? How many people this year at the beginning of the year said they were going to work out? and then you started it and then you fell off. Mm. So it, it, you have to commit to it. You have to say, I'm rocking with God all the way. I'm staying with him no matter what, right? Because if you believe the scripture that says he'll never leave nor forsake you, he ain't leaving you. You don't want to leave. I feel like it. sometimes I be going off and I come right but there. But as long okay, as you come though. back, that's the thing. Yeah. But that's I think the thing, It's though. about that relationship. Yeah. It's about relationship. the relationship. And yeah. I tell people, don't be so hard on yourselves because guess what? you probably living a holier life than some of these pastors. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So don't feel like, you know, oh, man, I, I said I was going to go to church or I went yeah. Sunday morning and joined the church but ain't been back in three months. You know what I mean? Don't feel bad because God knows our heart. The Bible says he, before we was in our mother's womb, he knew us. We are becoming, I feel like our generation is becoming more woke to yeah. the point where it's like, yo, it's about relationship. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? I can go to church and you can pray somebody under the pew but if you walk past me and don't speak then what you got you got a church you got an attitude you're the meanest person in church but you how many times have you dealt with that you know what i mean yeah. i feel like the church is supposed to be a hospital mm -hmm. to where people can go when they don't when they're not when they're trying to get well when yeah. i say get well i'm speaking in intense of you know what i was there the other day but you know what i'm trying to do better and a lot of times people don't feel like they can come to church to the point where, okay, she came in in a mini skirt. Okay, but why Why look down on her? She right. trying to come to God. Well, Elijah, before you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Bree. Straight in the eye. You, know you, know you, know you went viral <laughs> for your infamous stare down with Diddy himself. Yeah, yeah. And I just got to ask you, like, what was that moment like for you? First of all, because I, I want to clear this up. Salute to Diddy, yeah. for one, because um, he gave me an opportunity. And even though I didn't win the show, I won the show. You did. And I ended up running into Diddy uh, at the Revolt Conference, uh, I think, like, right before the pandemic. Uh, we actually redid the stare down. <laughs> Shit was crazy. I mean, stuff was crazy. Uh, <laughs> so you got on my heart. Thank you, God. It, no, uh, no, but no. you know what? The crazy thing is, is that I went on the show, man, and sung my tail off, or at least I thought I did. You know, didn't didn't get a chair, but I think that was God because I'm not stuck in those horrible contracts that a lot of times comes with that show. And I remember running into Fantasia. We was going on the same Delta flight. And she said, you the... I said, yeah, I didn't even let her finish. <laughs> she said, baby, you won. It's not about winning the show. It's about what you do with the platform. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And perfect example, I just found out recently that Jennifer Hudson and Fantasia was on the same season, season. of American Idol. Mm -hmm. She didn't win. Jennifer Hudson didn't win. 
but look right. where she is now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just want to encourage anybody out there, like, listen, yeah, they may have told me no, but I took no as new opportunity. Yes. Yes. No backwards means on. Yes. And clearly I'm on because I'm sitting up here with you. You and you. Yeah. So, hey, let's go. Hey, talk you, about you, it. I'm not sitting there. You, you are. You, 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 on, you on the show. That's you a child, on the show. Yeah, childhood friend. Baby, that point took you out. Right. Right. Took you right out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so dope, y'all. I can't wait to see this new show, Growing Up Gospel. Yes. Thank you, Absolutely. Tasha and Elijah, for Thank stopping you. by. Thank you Now, BGS fam, you make sure you catch Growing Up Gospel airing on WeTV. Yeah.